Pistons fans, what's going on? It's your boy King. Let's talk about this game versus the Rockets, man. Um, you know, before we get into it, um, I just want to say this. Um, I don't have a problem with anyone disagreeing with anything that I say, um, but be respectful about it. You know, the trolling, the disrespect is only going to get you, you know, ignored, blocked, erased, whatever you want to call it. And that's on YouTube and Twitter. Um, I am totally, totally not right about everything. I'm not. Um, but if you feel different, you have the, the total freedom to create your own content, to watch someone else's content. So I'm just say be respectful. Um, with that said, you know, the Pistons fall 116 to 107 tonight. Uh, well, today <laughs> against the Houston Rockets. Um, and before I get into the stats and, and all of the details and all everything else, I want to say this. Um, the Pistons are in a position where we just don't have it. We don't have it. And what I'm what I mean by don't have it is tonight you see on the other side of the basketball, those young players over there, first, second year players that they got on that roster. They don't have the immense amount of pressure that our players have simply because they have veterans. They have real veterans and they have a better offensive flow because of the way that that team is to get put together right now. The Pistons, we don't have any. We don't have any veterans right now. Uh, Olenek has been out since the very beginning of the season. Jeremy Grant is not a guy that's going to, uh, you know, make your your guys better on your team. He's a, a guy that he's a piece. He's a guy that fits in with someone else who does that. That's not what Jeremy Grant does um, or do. So, you know, the Pistons, we have zero veteran presence on this team. We literally have first and second, third year players trying to figure it out while they're out there on the court. So, um, for you know, let's just be for certain. I'm definitely not giving Dwayne Casey a pass for some of the things that he does. I mean, I'm not also not saying that he's the worst coach in the league. Um, but you got to understand, he can preach until he's blue in the face to these 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 young guys out here and they're still going to have to it's still going to take them time to learn things and having veteran presence on your team helps that a lot you look at some of the other rookies that that was brung in just this year alone in scotty burns and evan mobley those guys and duarte those guys have those those veterans available on their team you know duarte is playing with you know veterans over there you know what i'm saying so that's not something that Kate has right now, that Killian has, that Sadiq Bey has, that Isaiah Stewart has. They don't have that right now. They literally are looked at to, to take on a load themselves at the same time while they're trying to even learn the, the game of basketball. You know, so, um, you know, that's a unique situation for these young players, man, because. You know, I feel like it would definitely speed up the process if they had that presence. You got what twenty was twenty one points out of Christian Wood tonight, um, and eighteen points out of Gordon. Christian Wood plus fifteen, Gordon plus five. Um, that makes it easier for guys like Christopher Matthews. You know, Jay Sean Tate. It makes it easier for them. Shin Gun. They don't have to come in and worry about carrying the load. And that's that's one thing that I just want fans to understand right now is, yeah, we're not winning games. And that's why you're not winning games. You're not winning games, obviously, because our team is incomplete right now. We have zero bigs. But at the same time, we don't have the veterans either. Uh, that's just not that's not where we are right now with this team, with this roster. And, um, you know, to have the expectation for these guys to go out and just win games right now is kind of unfair. It really is because you're learning as you're trying to go as young guys. You don't have anybody to and I'm not going to say show you the ropes and all of that, but I'm saying those veterans that can get in and make it a little easier on guys. We don't have that. We don't have that. We have our veterans tonight were Magruder and Trey Lyles. How do you win with that? You know what I'm saying? How do you win with that? Trey Lyles is not even a real veteran. He's a young guy himself. So... Your, your your one veteran you had tonight was Rodney Magruder, who was a glorified bench cheerleader on any other team in the NBA. 
but he gets the opportunity to see the floor with floor with the Pistons. That that you expect to win with that. I don't understand it. Um, so that's why I told y'all many, many videos ago that wins and losses definitely was out of the window for me, out of the picture for me. Um, you know, I'm watching these guys try to take steps on their own, on, on their own. Simple and plain. Sadiq Bay over the last two games, uh, headband Sadiq <laughs> or Deke. <laughs> he spoke in third person after the last game. It's, you know, he spoke on Deke. Deke is his alter ego, I guess. Um, but headband Deke has been playing well. He's been trying to fight himself out of that slump. He's been playing better. Um, but like I said, he's going through that thing without that veteran help. So he's doing this thing on his own. Cade is trying to figure out and do things his own. Killian trying to figure out to do things on his own. You know what I'm saying? And, and knowing that those two alone don't even have the components that they need on the offensive end, which is a big that they can truly dominate with in the pick and roll situation with. You know, Isaiah, for instance, today it was where Killian pushed the ball up the court and he tried to throw an alley-oop to Isaiah Stewart. Isaiah Stewart wasn't able to get it. It was a little too high for him. Um, you know, trust me, I love Stu, and he played well today. He definitely did against uh, Christian Wood, um, which I thought was just going to be a bad day for him. But um, we all know he's not super athletic. We all know that he's not a true big. So, you know, that would definitely help them a lot. I'll, I'll put it to you this way. Look at it this way. Just from this game today, we're not going to talk about some of all these other bigs that we face. Put Christian Wood and Gordon as the veterans on this Pistons team. Who wins this game between the Pistons and the Rockets? I think that's self-explanatory. That is very self-explanatory. Who wins this game? Obviously the Pistons. Like I said, you got to look at these matchups that they, these teams they're going against, man. These guys, these teams are already built ahead of the Pistons. We are the one or maybe two young teams in this league where our GM came in and stripped away everything. He took everybody out. Everybody. Your longest tenured piston is Killian Hayes, and this is his second year. So, come on. You know what I'm saying? We don't have that, man. We don't have what these other teams have. So let's just look into to some of the stats uh, real quick, man. Sadiq Bay ended with 23 points tonight. Uh, shot the ball pretty well tonight. Probably the only real um, him and K Cunningham, I will say, from the three-point land, shot decently. Um, Sadiq Bay was three for seven, and K was three for nine. But the team in general shot 27% from three tonight. So they absolutely struggled from three. Um but, you know, 21 from K, 23 from him, 16 from Isaiah Stewart with eight rebounds. Um, again, K with 21, 11 and uh, seven. Uh, Killian with uh, eight, 10 and four. Um, and what you got, 12 from Frank Jackson tonight, even though he didn't shoot the ball well at all from three point line. He was one for seven. So, like I said, man, uh, just looking at some of these stats, man. You're just missing those veterans. You're missing those pieces. You're missing that those guys that can lighten the load for these young players, man. And that's gonna come. It's gonna come. You know, yeah, we got dead money and all of this stuff. Yeah, a lot of that's getting ready to change at the end of this season. So, you know, yeah, it's a, a, it's a situation that sucks right now. Um, we'll see what the Pistons do if they wanna make any you know, real notable changes to this team, which I truly do not believe they are going to do it. I think if they make a, a move, it's not going to be something huge or humongous. Uh, they may move on from Jeremy Grant. That's uh, something I actually do believe they're going to do. What we get in return from them, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. So, uh, but right now, you just got to understand this Pistons team, they don't have what they need, man, to be successful out there on the court. And then on top of that, like I said, with, with Dwayne Casey, I don't think he's the worst coach in the world, but he also doesn't do the greatest job at times with what he does have, which is, you know, a bunch of kids, man. So, um, like I said, I don't want people to take it as I'm making excuses, but you got to think logically in any professional league, if you got 
all first and second, third year players out there with no veterans on that team, i.e. Detroit Lions, <laughs> it's just not going to go well. You're going to be close in some games, but it's going to be hard to win games. It just is. It is, man. And that's just logically thinking about it. You know, I know we want, want these guys to come out and be world beaters. We want everybody on the team to score 20, 30 points. That ain't going to happen right out the gate, man. That's not, you know what I'm saying? It, it gets easier when you do have that veteran presence, but that ain't happening out the gate. I don't care who you want it to be. It's not happening out the gate. Everybody on this team that you uh, have on this team is not your number one overall pick special player. You know what I'm saying? Even with K, when he scores 20, 25 points here and there, like I said, it's on, the, uh, uh, it's on an immense amount of shots. You know what I'm saying? So, um, man, we just need help. We need help, man. We need help bad. So, we'll see what do, uh, what Troy Weaver does, man. Um, you know, how fast he acts on it. And uh, we go from there. But, we're going to suffer these tough losses, man. We're going to suffer when we're going up against those guys like Christian Wood and those athletic bigs, man. And, uh, you know, these teams that have that that presence that we don't. We're going to struggle. It's just going to happen. So that's my opinion on it. Um, I've seen you guys' opinion on it constantly. Um, but like I said, if you feel like you want to add something to the comments, man, um, just just go ahead and leave it because that's just that's that's where we are. I don't even know what, what else to say, to be honest, because it's a tough situation and it's nothing that these young guys can do about it. But go out there and try to do whatever they can. They're going to turn the ball over. You know, it's not going to be cl clean grade a basketball with a roster that's built like this. So with that said, let me know what you guys think. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.